Welcome into our overtime segment here at SportsSource.tv. Happy to have you with us. As always, this overtime segment brought to you by Blue Smoke Cigar. I point there, but it's really there on your screen. <laughs> on my screen, it's over there. <laughs> For you, it's right there. Uh, Blue Smoke Cigar and Smoke and Joe's. Smoke and Joe's still located down in Alcoa, really nice place. But their latest venture is Blue Smoke Cigars. It's a club, it's a lounge, leather seating, TVs all over the joint, card tables, card rooms, golf simulators, a private room for small meetings, lockers for your favorite cigars and your favorite uh, liquids, uh, and a humidor, <laughs> a humidor filled with the best boutique cigars in the country. I love water. Um, I'm telling you, <laughs> Jimmy would have a locker with water in it. <laughs> Did you say that or you say that? No, Jimmy said that. Jimmy said that. Okay. Yeah, yours would have water in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, <laughs> anyway, private humidors, stock your own down at uh, Blue Smoke Cigar. It's a great place. If you do enjoy cigars, check it out. Uh, you, will, you will be glad you did. All right. Uh, I put up a Twitter poll uh, this week. We showed it at the end of today's show. If we can put that up again. There we go. I asked people, what's the best kickoff time for a Vols football game? Only 11%. Apparently, most of these people don't do a Sunday morning television show. Because <laughs> I can tell you, I'm, I'm in that 11%. Make it earlier. Uh, but 44% said 3.30 and 45% said 7.30, so it's split between those two, but 89% said 3.30 or later. Um, even as a fan, though, I prefer an afternoon game to a night game. If I'm going to watch a football game, uh, by, uh, just because of the way the schedule breaks, if I get to go see the Patriots in Boston, it's usually when they've won a Super Bowl. Uh, and it's the first game of the year, which is a night game. And then you go to Foxborough and you're back in Boston by 3 o'clock in the morning. That's just murder. I prefer an afternoon game. I'm in the minority, though, I guess. What do you guys, in terms of both when you covered it, you still do, but when you covered it in the media, what do you prefer, day, afternoon, night? And as fans, what do you prefer, day, afternoon, night? I have grown accustomed to 3.30. That is that is probably my favorite starting time. I, I that way you you still get home at a decent hour. Right. Um, you know where where I sat in the stadium. By the second half, I'm in the shade, which is great when it's hot. Of course, it, then you got the cold season too. But I think 3:30 has become my preferred time. Well, well, I'll split them from the media perspective. I don't like night games at all. Uh, I not only. Is there a post-game show to be done? But there's also the radio show, mm -hmm. your TV show the next day. Uh, those are brutal uh, for personally from the media, but nobody cares about that. Uh, from the fans' perspective, I would also prefer an earlier game, either one or three thirty, because I like to watch. I would like to watch a game and then go home and exactly. watch other ball games. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes. Exactly. So what? let them other let the others play at night. So yeah. I can go home and watch them. So I would much prefer the one. I guess the ones at like 7.30 are talking about getting a couple of pregame meals or whatever, meeting at noon, lunch, and then eating before the game and going, I guess. Getting yeah. tanked up. Tanked up. <laughs> getting yeah. prepared, prepared for the game as they, they do. They have their yeah. favorite liquids. You know, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, not water. Might not be water. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that all of the downtown merchants, the, the noon kickoffs or the early ones are just killers. Right. I mean, you might as well not even have that game for a lot of what they're doing. Yeah. I think the afternoon is the perfect compromise because you got to look we also have people driving over from the mid-state from memphis and then if they're going to get back that night these games are going what four hours now closer to four oh, yeah. hours and then if you have heaven forbid an overtime game that drags on so i can see i like having a night game earlier in the season just because i think that's really cool when the lights are on at newland stadium i was going to say the same thing i like a night game I like to go to a That's night game every year because I do think it's just fun. The atmosphere is a little bit different. different. But, you know, face it, if you've got, a, if you've got um, you know, heaven forbid, one of the 8 o'clock kickoffs and it's November, well, it's already been dark for two and a half hours. I mean, now, I mean, that's my bedtime. I'm, <laughs> you know, I try, to, I try to get like three seats so they can give me a blanket and a pillow. But I, I, I like a night game every year. Don't terribly mind too, but if they start really getting into them, it, it's just too too much. Well, if you go back uh, traditionally, I think most of the back before every game was on television, and that's what changed everything really. But Tennessee used to have a kickoff around one o'clock yeah, in the afternoon yes. was the traditional start, 
and then they would all, once they put in the lights for Penn State in 71, they would always have one or two night games for the early, early season games when it would be 1,000 degrees out. Uh, if you did a one o'clock game in, in early September. So they would play those night games. To me, that's perfect. I, I, would have, I could live by that. But I, I, don't, I know that the merchants probably would prefer 3.30 or 7.30 as opposed to one o'clock. But for years, the merchants got by at one o'clock. I, I, there's just something to me about watching an afternoon football game. That's just, maybe it's because I watch so much NFL. And the team I pull for is, is, is the NFL team. So when I look at the Patriots, I like those day games. I hate the well, night games when the, when the Patriots I've, get stuck I've, there. I've got a connection to one of your sponsors at Calhoun's that talk to him regularly. He does not like night games. And the reason is, not only is your ball game crowd at the stadium, People are sitting at home watching it on television, yes. so they're not coming out in the same number. Okay, so, yeah. I so better can, for 3.30. Yeah, I think you, you can make arguments as far as those kind sure. of things all the way around. But uh, it, it has been, what, Tennessee maybe plays one 12.30 kickoff every year, maybe two at home. Yeah, it but, depends on how many times you get stuck on a bad yeah, on I mean, the SEC I, network with a and, bad game. And it, it has gotten to the point where those are the games that I, that I don't prefer. I prefer the uh, later in the afternoon into the into the early evening, as far as going and and what I like to do when I go to a game. All right. Anything else to add? No, I mean, but it's the whole tailgating experience has gotten to be, I think, bigger yeah. since they've added the Circle Park yep. thing, which mm -hmm. is provided for the fans, and then you got the G9, G10, or whatever it is with what all goes on there. As I smile. Uh, but I do, I, I do like that, and I think the afternoon is the perfect. And I think a night game, even if it's a non-conference, is a great, comp, is a great, great compromise to play early in the season in September, early October. Right. That's just so nice. It's so comfortable, and you're not there you know, in sweltering heat, and right. then you're not freezing. You know, like what was it, the Missouri game last year, the game where it got so cold and people were just leaving in droves late in the season. So. Uh, I think there is a, a healthy compromise there, but most people, I think, do like right. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the, all the Missouri people left uh, that, that game. It had nothing to do with the fact Tennessee was giving a million yards and points. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> left because it was cold. I'd, I'd forgotten that old yeah. argument. <laughs> yeah. if, the other thing about it, the 1 o'clock kickoff games, those did predominantly happen back before tailgating got to be yeah, where it is. Yeah, tailgating is now a sport yeah. of its own. And, and it, 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 it is a thing of its own. Yes, it's a big part of it. Well, if you get to a 1 o'clock kickoff, most people like to leave their tailgate eh, 45 minutes before the uh, before the kickoff. So now you're back about 12.15. Well, you're starting at about 9.30. Yes, exactly. And a lot yeah. of favorite liquids don't go down well <laughs> at 9.30 in the morning. Depends on who's, who's consuming. <laughs> well, it's not like somebody the other day told me about college students. Says, Nothing good happens after 12 o'clock in the morning. I said, no, I was in college. There's a lot of really <laughs> good things happen after 12 o'clock in the morning. When I lived in, when I lived in Columbus, um, you know, the Big Ten for years, they didn't have night games. And, and then they finally mm -hmm. gave in to that. But it used to be that 12 o'clock, that's when you kick mm -hmm. them off. And... They had a tremendous thing in terms of a tailgate experience there. It's no longer there because Gordon Gee, the guy at Vanderbilt who decided to make them an, an intramural sport, uh, intramural <laughs> department, he then became the president of Ohio State and helped kill off this thing they called Heinegate because it was promoted by Heineken. Uh, what they would do is, even for a noon kickoff, people would get over there early in the morning. They had vendors. All these vendors from around Columbus, restaurants and bars, would open up little deals. They had a band that was playing at 9 o'clock on a stage. Great big tractor trailer with a television yes. so you could stand over there. It's cold in, in October, November up there. People are standing out there at 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning, having their drinks. You, you buy a ticket, go in. Now that was tailgating. And what's interesting is you're saying that made me think of that. I didn't have a problem swall you know, getting anything down. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I was also you know, 13 years ago, 14 years ago. Well, you just got to get up yeah, early. More than 50 that, years That's the ago. way you yeah. Just 20 years yeah. ago. Never mind. Yeah, I couldn't do it now. You just have to adjust your internal clock. So you got to get up two, th two, three hours earlier and just pretend like it's an afternoon game, much later than what it actually is. But, I mean, for years, the Big big Ten schools well, started noon. at noon. Noon, yeah. And they... they yeah. You know, nobody complained mm -hmm. about it hurting business or hurting tailgating. I think you get used to whatever it is. But the tailgating has, has certainly and, and become then, a thing of its own And now. obviously the, the vol walk, the way they time that yeah. has gotten mm -hmm. to be such a big thing now too. 
and has yeah. been, I guess, for several years, well, I but think even the I, band. You know, here's the deal. The businesses that prefer this time or prefer that time, Tennessee's winning, that's what everybody prefers. Yeah, yeah, that's that right. Whenever maximum amount of people down there. Well, and it also means people are going to be out and about Sunday, Monday, and yeah. Tuesday. When Tennessee loses, you know, I've, for 15 years I've been dealing with sponsors in this market, and you know this as well. Mm -hmm. When Tennessee loses, business goes. I mean, they just slow down on Sundays. You, fans do not go out and do anything. They don't go to movies. They don't want to go eat. It's like even the hut levels, which you, houses using television, those drop on Sundays. Uh, not just for us, you know, we actually do well when Tennessee loses, that's some of our best shows. But for the most part, people, it's like they don't even want to accidentally come across a highlight. I can't watch TV today. So <laughs> winning, winning yeah. cures much. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm like that. <laughs> just don't want if they lose, you don't want to. I, I mean, if, if, if my team loses, no, I don't want to sit there and watch highlights. No. I don't even read about a lot of this but, stuff. But you don't go home and say, I'm like, I can't even watch TV today. <laughs> a lot of people do. Still, like if the, the mall, Vikings lose at one, I do do not watch from at four in the in, in the evenings unless I, I mean so no I am that way. See, I maybe, got a little bit of that in me. Well, <laughs> it, <laughs> but I mean, it, it, to, you can you can trace this on yourself. Just go to West Town Mall uh, or Knoxville Center Mall. Is it still Knoxville Center? Is that yes. what they're calling it these days? That's so, what they're calling it. Go to one of those malls no. on a Sunday after Tennessee wins. And then go another Sunday after Tennessee loses, and you tell me how many people are out after a win and how many are after a loss. Yeah. It it shuts down in this town when Tennessee they mourn. This town mourns. So anyway, guys, thank you, Chuck Cavaliers, Jimmy Himes, Bob Hodge. Appreciate you doing this. We will see you next Sunday at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. next Sunday on WATE six, or probably about the normal time right here uh, online. We always post it. I'll post it uh, right after the show next Sunday here online. Thank you for visiting SportsSource.tv, or if you're watching through our YouTube channel, thanks for visiting that. We'll see you next week.